Hey everybody, welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam, or Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. Can't stand it how wonderful I am today. Just kidding, I am pretty happy though. I came across this video and I didn't save it and I don't remember the young lady's name. It was so, it was a beautiful name, like Anyasa. Anisia, and I think it was Art With Me. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I don't recall the artist's name or the channel that I saw it on. But she used napkins in resin. She uh, put it in a coaster with Mod Podge. I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to try and use my beautiful poinsettia napkins. I have put a small layer of clear resin in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my DuraClear and I'm gonna go around just, it's not up on these edges because you see how this, see how this coaster is? It's almost flat. It's got just a little beveled edge that comes up. So I'm not gonna go anywhere on the up, I'm just doing the bottom part of the square. That's where the, if you can see it, I hope, where I've poured the resin, that's the only place I'm gonna put the varnish, the dark clear varnish. And then I'm gonna take the napkin apart and take it, there's two parts to this napkin, I believe. It's not very easy to get it apart. Cause you know, these are fancy schmancy napkins. Let me see if I can get it over here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. It would help if I had fingernails, but I'm not the type of artist that can have fingernails. I'm trying, y'all. I could have started this off camera, but here we go. We're going to take this part off. Gently. Are these napkins nice? Got them at Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, or it's a dollar or more now. They were a dollar twenty-five. So she put hers down with Mod Podge and it worked really well. Then she came in and did a layer of resin over it. So I'm going to try the same thing with the varnish. I'm going to use this part. I'll varnish it and then I'll come in and I'll put this down. And then we will cut it off with that picture. What do y'all think? And then once that dries, we'll put a layer of resin on top of it. Meanwhile, though, I also want to add, look at this new mic I got from Eye Candy called 14 Karat Nugget Gold. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. He said, I want to do this, something with this, and I had this idea going, so I said, that'll work perfect. I'm going to put it around the edge. I'll edge it in gold with the point set up. So that's my plan. I hope you guys are here to join me and see a successful project turn out. Fingers crossed that happens. And that you want to try. And I am really going to try and find the girl that I saw originally do this. I'm going to try and find her information so I can link it in the description. Because I'd like the person to get credit that's due credit for inspiring me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the dark clear. Put some of this on. Take a little the back of a cup, like your little palette. Take the paintbrush and go along. This little paintbrush is going to take forever, so we're going to find a bigger paintbrush. Here we go.
Just follow right along where the clear resin is. Get a nice layer of the varnish on there. And uh, again, let me show you the picture of this. It's DuraClear Satin Varnish by DecoArt. I got it on, of course, Amazon. Okay. I do think I want to make this pretty wet too because I need it to soak that napkin on here. Let's just do this. We can do that. Why not? These molds were purchased from Amazon. <laughs> I, I don't shop. I don't really go anywhere. Maybe Michael's, Walmart, but nine times out of ten, my pro project or product that you see me using came from Amazon. I mean, they have everything, pretty much. And then I would do ordering from other vendors uh, websites such as Laura's Art Corner um, let's see what else do I order from a lot of, a lot of Amazon uh, order from Molten Shapes uh, Etsy um, a lot of Amazon okay I have a good layer of this on all of them these don't feel very wet as these do. Let me just do a little more on these. Well, I have no idea if this is going to work, guys. So It's all new to me. I was going to do it off camera, but I was like, you know what? If this works, I would like people to see it. Okay. Done. We got a little sniffles going on. Sorry, folks. All right, here we go. Maybe I should cut this out. Let's cut this out. We don't need all this. Oh, I didn't even mention it. You notice I'm doing a video without doing uh, the number generating app to get my colors. I'm going rogue. It's Christmas time. It's the holidays. I don't need as much help. Okay, here we go. I needed it 
other way. Shucks. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Give, 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 give. It did. other way. And now I've soaked up all the dirt cleaner off of here. Ugh. I think I'm going to need to put some dirt clear on top. just because it's not getting wet enough. So, we will put some more on there. I'm gonna do this one with you on camera and then I think it's gonna take me a lot longer than I had originally thought. I'll do the other ones by myself off camera to save some time. I see this went over when I laid it down. It went over than what I wanted it to because I don't want it to go up over the sides. I hope these work. Pretty picture. Fun and easy to do if it does work out. Okay. So I got this one all nice and wet and varnished. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and I need to cut this part out. I was kind of hoping, you know, because it was so wet, it would just fall off, I guess. Now, I am going to take my, uh, oh look, there we go. That's what I wanted to happen. It's doing it. Because it's so wet, it's just coming right off. And I don't want it to rip ragged. Just wetting it at that seam and just kind of gently pulling it up. Seeing if that'll work. I think we need a little razor blade. Let me grab a knife. Mm. 
It's still pulling. Whoops, leave that over there, didn't I? Oh, I just ripped it. You would think it'd be a lot easier to get off since it's wet, but it really isn't. It just wants to pull. You just gotta be gentle. You don't want your print messed up. There. Okay, I did it. So now, we hope this dries nice and pretty. We've got it in there. We've got the layer of resin there. So once this dries, I'll go in and, like I said, I'll do the dusting and then we can put a layer on top. We won't know how this turns out until we're finished. I don't think. I might have an idea after this dries if it's going to turn out well enough to put another coat of resin on. So I'll go ahead and do these. I'll put you on hold and I'll be back. Hang tight. Hey everybody, I'm back. These have had about three hours to dry. I'm now gonna come in with this eye candy 14 karat nugget gold mica powder and dust around on this rock edges. I think it'll look nice. I don't know how well our napkin is gonna turn out. I'm gonna go ahead and say that now. We know this is an experiment. Whew. This gold is flying everywhere. I wish it was real gold. Wow. All right, let's see how we do here. It's gonna be tricky because I don't want to get it all in the picture as little as possible. This is going to be tedious, so I think I'll do the first one with you, and then to save time, I will do the rest and come back to you. What do y'all think? This is going to take a little bit of time, which I like to enjoy the time. It's the point of the project. You don't want to just zip, zip, zip and be done. How boring. But to enjoy the ride. That's what it's all about, right? It's a whole point in creating. To escape and you don't want to hurry up and escape. Or you don't want to hurry up from the escape. very pretty mica. I just got it today. It doesn't have a number yet. It has not been here long enough to get into the system. Maybe we'll call this one 360, because that's what number I'm on. I'm at 359. 
I got this like a pack of 16, I think. Because I ran out of one of my other micas. So I ordered some to replace one. Because that's the only thing I know to do. Because it's not always am I going to be able to replace it with the exact same color that I run out of. It just so happened I was able to do it this time. But, you know, came with other colors with it, of course. It was the McCall Blue Green, number 46. Beautiful blue. So I was able to reorder it with some others that came with it. So I thought I would just put those to the side until I run out of another color. Then I can re, uh, I'll already have something there to replace it, to fill that number. But, I went ahead and used this one first. Because it is very pretty. I didn't, when I saw it, I said, man, I think that would look good on those napkins I'm doing with the poinsettias. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do these four. Like I said, I'm going to, um, I'll do it off camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all four of them. And I'll be back. Hang tight. All right, guys, I'm back. I have my beautiful poinsettia coasters uh, dusted on along the outside with the beautiful 14 karat nugget gold by I can't eat. That is super, super beautiful. I can't say that enough. It's I highly recommend it. I haven't really seen a gold mica like that. And I've seen some gold micas. I haven't seen any like this. So, two thumbs up from Sam. All right, now, I know I want this to be white. My struggles are, do I want to use white satin by Lorez or angel white by Lorez? One's a base, one's a mica. This one's pearlescent, this one's flat. I kind of think I want the flat. But then, since I have the gold, I think, no, I want the pearlescent. I wish y'all could tell me. All right, send it to me telepathically. Go with the pearlescent. Okay, I'm listening to you. I'm going to do the pearlescent. One with the white satin. Let's go ahead and put in some of our white satin. Grab one of my little handy-dandy spoons. Open it up over here so Micah doesn't fly everywhere. Look, you see the white satin? You see, that doesn't have a whole lot of pearlescence to it. So I think it's exactly what I want because I didn't want super sparkly. So you don't need much. That's all I'm going to start with. I think this is the first time I've used this. I got it from Laura's Art Corner when I got my orders, one of my orders from her. Man, it was really hard to decide what I wanted. And I know I've heard a lot of good um, artists talk about white satin by Larez. So when I ordered from Laura's Art Corner, I ordered it. And that's where I got my uh, angel white paste too. Okay, so let's put this spoon over here. And I've added that in. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of resin to that. And I'm going to mix this up. mica in and then you add just a little bit of your resin and you mix it up and you make it basically like a paste see how easily that combines you see that does have just enough little pearlescence to it this is perfect I'm glad you guys telepathically sent me to use the white satin all right now you're gonna pour in the rest of your resin Doing it like this makes it so much easier to combine. Okay. Mix this in. And I don't believe I stated that my resin of choice is Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. 
wonderful budget friendly resin you you need to try it you will not be disappointed it's good for casting it's good for coating I haven't found anything I haven't been able to use it for that makes sense anything I've needed to use it with I've been able to use ClearCast 7000 and it did the job perfectly superbly I'm just spreading on the good word good information to my friends on YouTube all right that's nicely mixed let's pour some coasters and these are thin coasters but they're wide so it's deceiving at how much they're gonna take like I've looked at all the resin I have mixed up and I said I'm not gonna need that much but I do believe I'm glad I mixed up as much as I did I like these coasters. They, I don't know if I said it before, but they came from Amazon. They had round, oval, um, hexagon, and heart. They're new. Well, I should say, I believe they're new because I am constantly looking at their molds and I hadn't seen them up until a couple weeks ago when I got them. I got the round and the square. I had to make up a little more. I was going to get the um, hexagon, but it is Christmas, so I have to think about buying for others. But it is my birthday and Christmas, so maybe I've been good and somebody knows what I want for Christmas or my birthday. If that's the case, then I know what I'm going to get. Oops. All right, mix up a little more. I didn't put the mic in first this time. Ding dong. But this is a good time for you to see. See how much harder it is for me to stir this in now? I mean, it's not, it's not like, oh God, physically hard or anything, but it's just easier. And one step that's easier when you're crafting is uh, good. This is beautiful. I'm seriously glad I made as much resin as I did though because like I said, they're deceiving when I was, I know there is a resin calculator out there all over the internet. I've never used it. I just kind of guess it by the inches of the mold. Kind of go ounce per inch. And then I'll have a mold to the side if I have too much to, and just add it to that. Add the leftovers to that. And it seems to work out pretty good. I do have this little bit of resin over here, clear resin that I had for another video. But it doesn't have any angel white in it, so I'm gonna put a little bit in there and add it just so I'm not wasting it. There is a law in the crafter's book that says do not waste product. I've seen it. And I don't wanna break the law. Add just a little bit in there.
see who needs it. And look, pretty daggone even all the way across the board, but we'll just split it up. The bad part is, is that's more white. I just realized it. Oh. You see that, guys? See that mistake I just made? Ah. So, now what I need to do is blend the different white. What a knucklehead. Good learning moment. Who would have thought there's that many different shades of white with one product? But there it is, just like that with any product. All depends on how much you use. So don't do that, guys. Just put it in something else. And I have some gold mica that's floating up. I see it. I shook it after, um... I dusted it, but you know, you can't get all that extra off. as good as I'm going to get it. We well, see the message here though, don't we guys? Okay, now let's put a little fire in the hole. How many bubbles that we have, especially since I just stirred it all up. Quickly and efficiently guys, don't want to burn the molds. All right. Okay. So now all we can do is wait, let it cure, and see what happens. Until then, guys, you hang tight. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second. I'm so excited to be here with you today. You know why? It's my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what our napkin coasters did. Easily out of the mold. These are really good. A little overflow here. Break that right off. Really good molds. I thought they were a little cheap at first, which I mean they kind of are, but I think they work really well. And as you will see, hopefully the design is pretty, but I at least know the shape is. Okay. They're all unmolded, demolded, right out of the mold. Ready? Here we go. Bam. Hmm. Bam. 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 Well, guys, I think they turned out pretty good. Look. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? See the sides? Nicely coated in that 14 karat nugget gold. A little something on there. I think they turned out pretty good. You see that? Nice clear coat. Nice and shiny. Well, I'm gonna say this was a good, good, 
result. I need to know what you think. So just leave me a comment. And while we're on leaving something, maybe you could leave me a thumbs up if you liked my video. And if you would, do me a birthday favor and hit that subscribe button. I have a giveaway for subscribers right now. If you like, subscribe, and send me a comment that you did like and subscribe, I'm going to send you a number. And we are going to use my number generating app to determine the winner. So, like, subscribe, and send me a comment. Do that for my birthday if you liked my video. And with that, I'm going to say happy birthday to me. Thank you for being with me on my birthday. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second. I'm so excited to be here with you today. You know why? It's my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what our napkin coasters did. Easily out of the mold. These are really good. A little overflow here. Break that right off. Really good molds. I thought they were a little cheap at first, which I mean they kind of are, but I think they work really well. And as you will see, hopefully the design is pretty, but I at least know the shape is. Okay. You're all unmolded, demolded, right out of the mold. Ready? Here we go. Bam. Hmm. Bam. 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 Well, guys, I think they turned out pretty good. Look. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? See the sides? Nicely coated in that 14 karat nugget gold. A little something on there. I think they turned out pretty good. You see that? Nice clear coat. Nice and shiny. Well, I'm going to say this was a good, good result. I need to know what you think. So just leave me a comment. And while we're on leaving something, maybe you could leave me a thumbs up if you liked my video. And if you would, do me a birthday favor and hit that subscribe button. I have a giveaway for subscribers right now. If you like, subscribe, and send me a comment that you did like and subscribe, I'm going to send you a number. And we are going to use my number generating app to determine the winner. So, like, subscribe, and send me a comment. Do that for my birthday if you liked my video. And with that, I'm going to say happy birthday to me. Thank you for being with me on my birthday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.